morning rugby fans. Today we're going to go through a cardio program designed for flankers. It's called the rectangle. Things you're going to need for this, six cones and a stopwatch. That's it. To set up, we throw a cone down on a corner. We set up a 10 meter rectangle where one side is 10 meters. The next side is 20 meters. The easiest way to do this is just to walk out to your 22 that's marked on your field, take two big steps back, dump a cone. Take it all the way out to the sideline, dump a cone. Oops. Come back. There's our rectangle. So again, we've got a sideline, a 10 meter line, and a 20 meter line. So the way the rectangle works is we're gonna do a 40 minute session of cardio. It's gonna be very rugby specific. It's gonna be focused on all the different areas of speed work that a flanker is gonna be using during a game. The first session, or the first 10 minutes, is gonna be spent doing jogging. The second 10 minutes is gonna be doing cruising. The third, high intensity, and the fourth, sprinting. The idea is that we want to have a balance of all of these different speeds and intensities so that we're training for a game specific situation. The first block, we're going to do a 10 minute block. The idea is to do at least 5 minutes of work for 5 minutes of rest. When we do this, the first thing we do is run a jog, sorry, a 60 meter lap of our rectangle. Okay? As soon as we've finished that, we wait until, the, until 30 seconds is up and then we run similarly another 60 meter rectangle in the opposite direction. The idea is that if you complete those two 60 meter rectangles, you will have done one full minute of work. As soon as your one full minute is up, turn around and go again. You're trying to aim to get up to five minutes of work. As soon as you finish that five minutes of work, then you can rest for five minutes. Here's what the first rectangle should look like. Starting stopwatch. Jogging out. All the way back to the start. That should take you somewhere between 15 and 20 seconds. You could actually start a little bit slower than that if you want to. The idea is to try and get back here, pause for a second, turn around, go back in the opposite direction. Ready, go. So that's 30 seconds we started on. Doing a simple jog, chopping our feet a little bit. All the way back to the start. Forty-five seconds done. So again, we'll wait again until we get up to a minute. And we'll head back the same way. Two, one, go. All the way back. Pause for a second. Three, two, one. Jogging out. This will be our fourth rectangle. Four rectangles done. That should take you just under two minutes. Okay? That's the first rectangle done. You're gonna get through 10 of those sprints, which will take you exactly five minutes, and then you're gonna rest for five minutes. Rest time's pretty important, because later on in this process, you're gonna to start to get out of breath. Block two looks like this. It's a 50 meter effort, and you're gonna do, again, try and do 10 of them so that you're matching up with the number that you did in the first go around, okay? Because we're doing a 50 meter interval this time, we can't go around in a full rectangle. We have to split this up a bit. 
because we're trying to make it rugby specific, we're going to have some changes of direction here. The idea is that we're going to go along the baseline, straight forward, to the right, straight forward, and to the left. So we get a good combination of different changes of direction in. Then because we want to keep it the same, we're going to walk back to our starting point on the far side and complete another. We'll call this a zigzag. So each zigzag again should take 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, you leave for your next zigzag. Trying to get through 10. Here's what it should look like. Ready and go. Chop your feet. Chop your feet. Chop your feet. Chop your feet. And then you have active rest back to your starting point so that we can go again. You should be able to get back to the starting point with about 67 seconds left. Active rest, walking back to our starting point. When we reach our starting point, we should have another 10 seconds of rest time. Try and get your breath in. Three, two, one. Out again. Chop your feet. Out again. Chop your feet. Active rest, coming back to the start. Again, have about eight seconds. What are you waiting for? All the way back to the start. Active rest, coming back to your starting point. Again, that should take you just about two minutes to do four, which leaves you another five minutes of effort. Sorry, another three minutes of effort in that five minute block. Okay. Block three out of four. We've done our uh, 60 meters. We've done our 50 meters. We're gonna increase the intensity to up to high intensity now. We're gonna try and get through 10 40 meter sprints, again at high intensity. The idea here is that we're gonna go around in our initial square. So not all the way to the second cone, just to the first cone. Again, we're working at high intensity now. We're gonna get more rest because we're working harder and we're uh, running a shorter distance, but that's not an excuse to slack off. Go. So again, you're going to be working at a higher intensity. You still get plenty of rest time. But you should be just as tired at the end of this block as you were after your 60s. Three, two, one, go. No active rest this time. We're just gonna stop. We're gonna go again. For more advanced people, you can throw in an up-down between these. That's some serious shit. Three, two, one. And last one. For this demonstration. You notice that even though they're quite short intervals, I'm breathing pretty heavy. Go. That's your 
high intensity block. That's block three, high intensity. Block four, we're trying to replicate rugby again. We're gonna have a 90 degree turn followed by a uh, 180 degree turn, uh, sorry, 120 degree turn. So this is meant to replicate coming out of the line, turning and having to chase towards a corner flag. Again, we're working at higher intensity. This is a full on sprint. We're trying to get all the way up to 10 of these. You'll get plenty of rest, so you need to be working hard. Ready, and go. So you should see from that, you can finish the sprint within 10 seconds. You've got 20 seconds to rest, but we need to replicate this 10 times. That's the tough part. Three, two, one. That's two. Remember, we're aiming for ten. Three, two, one. Make sure when you're doing these that you're changing directions. First one to your left, second one to your right. Make sure you're practicing turning and chasing both on your left and your right side. Three, two, one. There it is, folks, the rectangle. I've been doing it with four sprints in each block. You need to try and get it up to 10. 12, 14, and so on and so forth. Uh, that's it. Get out there, run around. Cheers.